Hello everybody, this is Bacter. Welcome to my Let's Play of The Wolf Among Us. I am extremely excited to begin this uh, and show this off for you guys. This is a telltale point-and-click adventure game in their style, which means divergent storytelling, character customization, and uh, character customization in terms of their attitude and affect, and uh, deep character design, and pretty intense decisions to be made all at every step along the way. Uh, if you've watched the intro video, you'll have got all the background you need. If not, just the, the barest basics. This is a story about fairy tales who were driven from their homeland and now live in New York City. Uh, you are this handsome mug right here. You are Bigby Wolf, the big bad wolf. You protect the fables as serving as the sheriff, sort of their ad hoc government in the refugee community of Fable Town, hidden right under the noses of the oblivious uh, mortals. Uh, there's really three consistent ways to play through the game. There's sort of a good or in control Big B, there's a bad or out of control Big B, and there's sort of a joke run I like to do, um, I call it Gordon Freeman Big B, in that anytime you can have a um, dialogue option, you can always respond with just silence. And so I think I might do kind of a joke run of a Gordon Bigby, but my main run is going to be the good Bigby, uh, the in-control Bigby, the one who holds back on his uh, baser impulses. So that's what we'll be seeing first. As far as extras go, as we progress through the game, the Book of Fables is extra information about the people, places, things, characters, etc. we'll find in Fable Town. Every time we find one, it'll say we've unlocked an entry. Uh, as you can see, they're all locked for now, but uh, we'll be unlocking them as we go. And I'll cover all those in the thread once we've unlocked them. Player choices. There's a ton of player choices, and you can um, sort of define how you want Bigby to be in a huge number of situations. But uh, the really important ones get chronicled here under player choices, the ones that really change the story and uh, diverge the paths of the story. So I'll list those under here, and achievements are nothing special. You just get achievements for playing the game, and then one per chapter for finding all the entries in the Book of Fables. So yeah, this is good Bigby. This is in control Bigby. Uh, and without further ado, let's jump on in. Chapter 1. I didn't uh, progress anywhere. I just started in uh, chapter one just to make sure everything loaded up so we're not missing any content here. We haven't made any choices yet, is what I'm saying. Sort of a telltale uh, calling card. They always like to do stuff like this. It actually does happen in this game. That's not an idle boast. This is the two minute summary of who the fables are. I can just hear the uh, CSI. Dun dun. Five today again if you missed it. A record for the date. Hottest ever in June. Uh, 103 now, and that humidity looks low. But remember, the hotter the air is, the more moisture it can hold. So 103 with 31 percent humidity right. is a lot more humid than say 73 with 31 percent humidity. And it is muggy out there. Something about a heat wave in a big city seems to bring out crime in these noir things. I love this art right from the beginning. Isn't this just evocative? There's a lot you can miss here and a lot of small details I'll be going over in the LP as we go through. Um, but for now, for this first run, it's good just to take it all in and just sort of experience the city the way they want you to see it. Having no official police cars, Bigby gets everywhere by taxi. Of course, as a noir protagonist, he's almost required to smoke. That would be Mr. Mr. Toad. Toad. Listen, mate, I know I don't look human, 
It's a problem, I get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross Fables. my arm. Fables are required to purchase No need to kick up a fuss. But they are expensive. I'm looking at a three-foot toad in a sweater. That's a problem. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. You can't send me up to live with those animals. You know what I mean. Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spell goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? We're trying to be the nice Big B, so... I don't make the rules. Sorry. I can't give you a free pass on this, Toad. My hands are tied. Right, right. There's too much at stake. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Fucking hell! See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Bigby, before he completely tears up the place! So, what am I walking into exactly? A uh, woodsman's on another bender. He's been going on like that for hours. Turn this place to dust if you let him. He's in a fucking rage. Oh! This is the last straw, Bigby. He has to go. So what set him off? Who knows why it was this time. Man's got a hair trigger. I avoid him as much as possible. When did he start drinking? Not sure he ever stopped. Fuck you! I didn't know anyone else was up there. So, the woodsman. That would be the one who... Holy prick got shite. Tell me how to spend my money. Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get the fuck back inside! He's a little rough around the edges, but I'm actually a big fan of Mr. Toad and his family. So the woodsman, that would be the one that uh, fought the big bad wolf famously back in the day. You're he's apparently been on a bender. Am, and he's apparently hey, sort of always on a bender. Me. So this is tutorial hallway. It exists to teach us what all we can do. Hey, we can pick up stuff. Small details like this can be important. We've got a match book now, so that's nice. Somebody presumably is trying to call somebody. Get off of me! And he is on a rage, and there's a lady in there, so I don't think now's the time for subtlety. God damn you! No, I am now. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa hey, dead. hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck, are you talking about you, stupid? <laughs> <laughs> I'll fucking kill you, <laughs> you fucker! All right, everyone. <laughs> You can get more dialogue if you wait to do stuff, and, uh... What are you gonna fucking do, huh? I guess diplomacy's not an option out of here. The way before you get the axe again. But I'm trying to be nice. You're drunk, all right? Think this through. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down? You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. <laughs> And a quick time. Fights tend to be this way. You either select a something else to it, or you have to press a trigger. None of it's particularly hard. Fucking challenge. This isn't like a uh, reaction game. It's just kind of there to give you a to challenge. Now it's important to know that fables are really durable. So. You can't miss all these moves, and the fight goes worse for you. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, Big B's not somebody you want to mess with. This 
this isn't exactly God of War. I admit, the fights are fun. Notice his axe there in the corner. He sure does. This is the other uh, tap the button to tell you to do a thing. Again, all pretty standard for things. The fights do get harder as the game goes on. Some of them are actually a little difficult. This early one is just a tutorial thing. Nothing really. You to should worry probably about. get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit. Bitch. I'll fucking put you on the ground. Say yeah, that like word that. one more time. What, bitch? What that was the one. did I say? You fucking, oh fucking shit! You broke my jaw, you bastard! And you still it. you talk. Fuck you. Shit. Again, waiting what for the any hell is additional dialogue. What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't mm -hmm. worry, you saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off! Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. I think I have a pretty good idea, What are but... you doing here? These lips are sealed. It's a weird way to say it. Uh, yeah, who are you, What's lady? your name? Whatever you'd like it to be, handsome. Don't okay. make this more difficult than it has to be. Sorry, Sheriff. Wouldn't want to add any difficulty to your night. Why was he hitting you? He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. Thought about cover it, hon? I'm the Woodsman, you whore. I saved Little Red Riding Hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of <laughs> stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid uh -huh. bitch! Uh, nope. would you excuse me for a moment? By all means. Come on! <laughs> so... Already, you can see this is a bit grittier than uh, some of the other games I've done is going to be. It does never feel particularly egregious to me. Well, it, it does sometimes, but I'll be doing a little editing later in the game, shall we say. Still, though, it's, uh, it's hard times for Woody. And Mr. Toad. <laughs> hey, Toad. My car. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Give me a second. Oh no, by all means. Take your time. Oh, pixel. Make yourself comfortable. Can I get you anything? Pillow, perhaps? <laughs> so, uh, how good is your insurance? I can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. But even when you help, things end up more fucked than they started. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. Uh oh. It's super hard to kill things. So the woodsmen being mad at not being known. Uh, Fable's power are related to how known they are in some ways. So it might have been more than just pride. See, I have lost some charge we picked in there. So we try to pull something out of me. You can't actually do it. But uh, notice the, the eyes there, and the axe in the head. Way to go, lady. So, Again, this is a good point time to point out that fables are very hard to kill. This isn't necessarily homicide. I decide I like her. 
Thanks. Don't mention it. I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I yeah, mean, good luck. your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Great. Yeah, he has got nothing. The guy's got an axe so, in his brain. Huh? He's not feeling that. It's more from me. He'll be fine. I'll kill you, you fucking bitch. Let me help you. <laughs> Guys, having a yeah. bad day. That makes two of us. I guess it's a good thing fables are hard to kill. Suppose it is. That's just a little plot thing for you if you don't understand what's going on. <clears throat> Again, little details can be important, so keep your eyes open. Woody, the woodsman there, has kind of turned into a loser, apparently, since his, uh, his days in Fable Land. And you sort of on the uprise. That will be nice. Here. Notice I could have given her the Thanks. matchbook because I had that. I'm uh, choosing not to. Who do you work for, really? These lips are sealed. Sorry. Hmm. Kind of a repetition there. Hey, you like my ribbon? Uh. If you don't answer my questions, I can't help you. I'm answering them the best that I can. That's weird. I feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. I guess. Oh, there goes Woody. Turn your back for a second. That is the best license plate ever. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. He hit you. He needs to pay for that. He's got nothing to give, Sheriff. I checked. Besides, I just swung an axe into the guy's head. I'd say we're even. Maybe I should be arresting you. I'm not going to be doing this for much longer. So, now's your chance. Hmm. So she's got some plans to escape, I guess. How I mean, obviously she's a prostitute. A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty-handed. I'll be fine. Weirdly enough, although this seems like the nice option, I'm gonna hang on to my money. Wish I could help. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office, then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where you I... You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. You look like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. I clean up okay. I'll believe it when I see it. Kinda of flirty there. Hey. See, I like her character. I need to tell you something. She's what is it? Obviously a victim. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Oh, thanks, lady. I'll see you around, Wolf. So again, like, she's obviously a victim. Obviously been through a lot, but still doesn't... She's got kind of a toughness about her. I mean, she's walking away from this, and, uh... 
is attempting to be in control of herself. She thinks she's going to be doing something different than what she's doing now, whether that's true or not. Ah, it's just a very good intro. It establishes you pretty well, too. You get to make a lot of good decisions. Um, whether you want to be a jerk to Toad. Whether you, I mean, how vicious you want to be with uh, Woody. A lot of things like that. Although you do beat the crap out of the woodsman in every iteration. So here's our little intro screen we have for all of the acts. Just kind of a stylized thing. I really like the visual style of this game a lot. Um, kind of the floor de lis in the background to me represents the sort of uh, nobility and uh, whimsy and fantasy in fairy tale adventures. But combined with this neon, grimy grid of the big city. I think I said evocative before, but that's really the word that comes to mind. It's extremely evocative. Alright. Through the uh, woodland luxury apartments. Walking along, we can see the glass slipper shoes. I guess shoes by Cinderella would have been too obvious. Walking around and using the interface is pretty obvious. Everything that uh, you can interact with has got this little circle over it. And you can, you know, use the eye to look at it, interact with luxury it in different ways, apartments. things like that. Wish they wouldn't advertise that. Yeah, it's not exactly a, uh... Well, it is for some people. There can be some really sweet apartments in here. I like this one. There's no walking on the grass, no white's orders. She made a sign and everything. I'll be sure to send her an apology. Beauty. Hello, Big B. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd, but there's an explanation. It sure I does. swear. Why'd you hide when I walked up? Well. I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. Uh huh. Can. Damn it! I'm late. Late for what? That's mysterious. Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. You now, worries too much as it is. I'm not. It would just make my life a lot I'm not sure. Easier. Just what the moral please. choice is here? Promise but I'm going to do what I no. would say. I'm not lying for someone when I don't know the reason. Sorry. I don't have time to go into it right now. I'll explain it all well. to you later. I will, but I have to go. Tough nerds. <laughs> to it's me, not what um, you might be thinking. Well, based on what happened in the intro, I'm thinking prostitution, but, uh, who knows. Like I said, it's hard for fables to make ends meet, so the idea of a prostitute isn't completely, uh, beyond the realm of what could happen. Yeah, I was just gonna say, like, um, if somebody asked me to lie for them, I would... Eh, I don't like lying anyway, but I would certainly not lie for somebody, um, unless I knew they had a very good reason for it, and definitely not if I didn't know why. Now, this is something which is a little unfair in that, um, I don't know, for all we know, the viewers, uh, Beauty and Beast might have a, uh, 
I don't know, bad relationship, he might be abusive, so there might be a great reason that we would lie, but we're not given that information. So acting as just myself, I chose not to lie. We'll see the other, we'll see what happens if you do agree to lie later. Good old sleepy guard. Hey, you wink. Nope, Grimble Probably is not a best. Yeah. Well, keep doing your thing, Grimble. Fly catcher needs to dust this guy. You know, pretty sure you can't advertise his luxury apartments if it's a literal suit of armor. Foyer. Let's see if we got any mail. Been a while since I got any mail. Looks like we're two o four. Seventh day in a row. Well, who would need to mail us? They can all just talk to us if they want to see us. Notice some of the other names, if you will. Oh, looks like our sticker fell. Damn thing fell off again. Obviously, we're a uh, sort of new onto here. This is just showing us how we can combine items. How much longer is this going to go on? So yeah, apparently we didn't move in that long enough ago, or we're not important to mirror a full placard. Either way. This might seem like kind of a slow section, but it is designed to uh, give us some previews into how things work. So you can see I've still got my cash, because I didn't give it to uh, the girl from earlier. And the matchbook. Bigby, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? As we will recall, I sure did. Yeah, I did. What? When? Just now. You saw her just now. Just a few seconds ago. Yep. She walked past me. You can probably still catch her. Thanks. Bigby is a solid bro. I mean, you tell people the truth about where their significant others are. I feel like that's a good uh, moral stance in this life. So whatever the uh, lobby looked like, this kind of looks like a garbage heap. Obviously we don't have the best apartment. And I'm not taking any calls. Boy, do we not have the best apartment. It's the middle of winter right here, and it's super cold, so it's easy for me to forget. But it is hot in, uh, in Fable Town right now. Pure column of water, perfectly cylindrical. I kid. The graphics are almost always amazing, but that water coming out of that spigot is uh, one exception for what a night. What a night indeed. Look at this place. This is this is very noirish. This this garbage heap of an apartment. Big B obviously isn't much of a homebody. What do we got to eat? Why do I even own this? Should have got a smaller one. Cigarettes and ketchup. Breakfast of champions. Damn it! What do you think was gonna be in there? I guess we could put some ice on our wounds or something. I want to know what his little notice on the refrigerator is. Because that's the kind of thing I wonder about. So yeah, this is home sweet home. I admit I've been in worse apartments. But uh, not by much, and not that I can recall Blue right Beard's now. File. Bluebeard and Pete Pennyworth. Never trusted this guy. I'll go into uh, more about the individual fables in another segment, but uh, suffice to say that Bluebeard is probably not somebody we're going to want to pal around with. Of course you wouldn't think the Big Bad Wolf would be either, but uh, Bluebeard is a level above that. Don't even remember ordering that. Probably a bad sign. <laughs> yeah, it's probably too old to be this still use. Works. Yeah, let's do a little something about the heat. Should help. 
It's a little slow in getting started, I admit, but uh, the action will pick up soon enough, don't you? Whoa, and there's a pig in our apartment. Hey, Colin. Hey, Colin. Get up. Nope, oh, not working. Uh, huh. Hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? <laughs> that glare. I'm tired, Colin. It's been a long day. Oh, look at that. That's how, that's how my dog would react if I needed uh, my chair that he was sitting in. Like it was my fault somehow. <laughs> so Colin's sort smoke? of our roommate. He's clearly not supposed to be here. He's supposed to be at the farm. Because he's an animal. And just like everybody else, we can be nicer Thanks. to Colin. A couple thousand more of these, we'll be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. <laughs> you can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Big B. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Calm down. I'm not sending you back. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you it's will. Kind of a, now, I'm not it's saying kind of it's reason shame. enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. Colin, it's if that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. So, everyone hates me. Nah, I'm just giving you shit. I'm doing my best here. Clearly that is not true. What with the selfishness with the bourbon. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. Wasn't my fault. I get the impression you say that a lot. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Mm, not everyone. Name one. Well, I wasn't that nice to Beauty. Uh, I don't actually know her yeah, I was nice to the girl. Awesome. Great example. <laughs> Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at Snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Mm. Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make Just give sense. me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't <laughs> slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut-eye before I... Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Well, okay. Thanks, Big B. I like Colin. He 
he's a huge jerk and he's a grifter, but uh, he does have your best interest at heart. Some of them. So we're just going to kind of chill here until that girl comes by and we can talk to her and find out what she was doing over at uh, Woody's. And why he was beating on her. And that'll be her there. Insistently knocking. Big B! Snow? Come with me. Okay. Snow. Well, we know we make eyes at snow, but that's about all snow. we have so far. What? Sorry, I'm... What is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to... Hi. Hello. Okay. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. Word. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. That's what I mean when I say the story picks up pretty quickly. Something out front. Security guard still sleeping. Classic. What do we got? Security jacket. This girl is. She's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. She looks familiar. I can't place her though. No, you she didn't. was a prostitute. Really? I never caught her real name. Oh. Yeah. Woodsman. He attacked her and I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... Woody. I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... terrible. It took me a second to realize what I was even looking at. So, who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. Poor girl. And that's, uh, that's episode one. Uh, as far as we're gonna go today, everybody. We'll, uh, investigate what happened to this girl later. Story's just getting started. I hope you uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of it and I hope you stick with me.